This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at simple tricks and pithy tips in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you a really fast tip for color correction. Look at our friend here. She's green. The way that our brains are programmed is we know in memory, skin tone, blue sky, and green grass are called memory colors. We know what her skin is supposed to look like. But in this case, it doesn't look that way. Here's the rule, the secret rule of color correction. The secret rule of color correction is equal amounts of red, green, and blue equal gray. Equal amounts of red, green, and blue equal gray. Which is really cool, and you can drop that at a party, and people will look at you saying, that's really deep. But it doesn't help us to do color correction until we flip it around. And when we flip it around, we say, if something is supposed to be gray, it must contain equal amounts of red, green, and blue. If something is supposed to be gray, it must contain equal amounts of red, green, and blue. Well, gray is black. Gray is white. Gray is every shade of black, white, and gray because every shade of black, white, and gray contains equal amounts of red, green, and blue. And now we can fix our green girl. The way we do that, select the clip, and let's turn on trim controls. Notice I've clicked the cropping, turned on trim. And I'm going to trim this in so I just see her white t-shirt. White is gray. Black is gray. I don't need a big piece. I just need enough so I can see just the white t-shirt. Color white is equal amounts of red, green, and blue. Click done. Now this time I'm going to change my workspace to color and effects. And we see all the different things. We've got four scopes here. This is the quick and dirty approach. I don't care about the histograms. I don't care about the RGB overlay. I want to see a single scope. And when I'm dealing with color, it's always the vector scope. Now look very closely. Equal amounts of red, green, and blue are a single dot in the center of the vector scope. But our gray t-shirt on the girl is not a single dot. It's way over here. Look at all the yellow-green that's been added. It's way off. There's a huge color cast. So to fix that, we go to the effects window, color correction, drag color correction on top, and go to the color board by clicking the right arrow. Now people say, Larry, the color board should be a circle, or it should be a square. Or a tra I don't care what the color board is. Yeah, it would be nice if it's a circle, but don't look at the color board. Well, look at it right now, actually. Exposure adjust grayscale. Grayscale is fine. Saturation adjusts the amount of color. We're not adjusting the amount of color. Color allows us to change the color. We could change highlights. We could change midtones. We could change black. We're just going to mess with global. And now watch the vector scope. Ignore the color board. I'm going to grab the global setting and I'm just going to drag it all over. I'm not looking at the color board. I'm looking at the dot inside the vector scope. And my goal here is to drag that dot so it forms a single dot in the very center of the vector scope, right there. I never looked at the color board. I just kept dragging around until that dot centered on the vector scope. Now, when I go over to the inspector, hide the crop, look at our girl. Perfect perfect skin tone. This is before, this is after. It would be nice to know what the vector scope does. It'd be nice to know how scopes work. It'd be nice to know about color spaces and all the different settings that are available to us. But if the gun is pointed at you and you've got to color correct this in about two nanoseconds, isolate on something that's supposed to be gray and put the dot in the center of the vector scope. Very, very cool. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at simple tricks and pithy tips inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this webinar, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 214. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. 
A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money because you can access all of our online videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than sixteen hundred movies, hundreds of hours, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.